I want to talk about Red Dead Redemption 2. If you had not heard, it was delayed to spring 2018. And that's okay. And that is totally fine. This shouldn't surprise anybody. Uh, Rockstar has really changed not changed, but they have they have evolved uh, as a as a development studio. I think they they really are very much about one game at a time now. Like they, Rockstar hasn't shipped a game since Grand Theft Auto Five. Mm. That was they don't need to fall of twenty thirteen. You know still what's still making charts. a lot of money? Grand Theft Auto Five. Well, yeah, but that's my point is, and they they get you know yes, there's one studio that leads it, uh, Rockstar North in GTA's case, and in Red Dead's case, it's Rockstar San Diego. But then. You look at the credits, and it's all, it's like all the Rockstar Studios contribute in some way. I feel like the way that Rockstar approaches games is all in for several years. Oh, yes. I really like that. Yeah, and the thing is, you know, I, I've talked about, I talked about it three years ago when GTA came out. What I appreciate about them is they they really, it's like total John Hammond dot gift, spared no expense. Like, they spend so much more money invested into the development of the game than anyone else could or yeah. does yeah. because you know even the other biggest publishers just don't don't have the time and don't have the resources to put you know name you can have find another open world game that's good there are plenty of them but find one there's a reason that gta 5 is in my opinion the one of the probably 10 best games of all time it is a fantastic because they just they drill down into the deepest of yeah. deep layers for the smallest joke, the littlest touches. They also have the carte blanche where no one's telling them, "Hey, you got to ship it at this date." That's exactly yeah. right. Because and, and that that cycle, it's tough to build into that because if a game flops, they're s screwed. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, but when right. is that going to happen? Red Dead literally had flying bird people, and it just made the game better. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. It's like with the with the un paralleled success of Grand Theft Auto V, they can totally sit back and go, fine, give Red Dead another year to make it yeah. perfect. I unfortunately fine. don't remember who the quote is from, but there was a developer who said something along the lines of... It was a Miyamoto quote. I, no, I, yeah. I'm not actually talking about the Miyamoto quote. Suck it, because I know the quote you're referring to. You're now thinking of a separate quote, just to I, I'm me. absolutely not thinking uh, of the Miyamoto uh, quote. A it's, delayed uh, game is, can be great, but a bad quote. game sucks it forever. Alana Pierce. That is that's Miyamoto. No, that's it was something about how uh, the decisions, the creative decisions made for a video game shouldn't be driven by a release date. They should be driven by the best interest of the game. But so Would often nice. people are like, "This game is due then. We have to cut it's all of this. Not, we have to do all thing. of this." That's the thing. Yeah, reality. So, Shigeru Miyamoto, reality. 1985. It's not Miyamoto. <laughs> I'm Ryan McCaffrey, host of Unlocked. If you enjoyed that segment of the conversation, be sure to check out the full episode and all of our other episodes on our YouTube page at youtube.com slash IGN Unlocked. Subscribe, and then you'll never miss a show.